hello hello this is nina from the happy hippie intuitive i'm here to do an, yet another reading for you so this is for whomever reading so that means that if you were drawn here by the title of this reading then there's something in this reading for you so today i'm using two mini decks or pocket size decks if you will so this is the angel answers pocket size tarot and this is called the wide sage tarot it comes in a tin box Beautiful, beautiful uh, tarot deck. So let us start now with the angel answers first, and we will use the tarot after. So let's shuffle a little bit. Hope you are all doing well. Let us see what spirit has in store for you today. What messages would like to come through for those of you who felt drawn to this reading by the title, which I don't know what is yet, but you do. <laughs> Okay, so let us pull some cards here for you. Three cards from this deck, please. Improving health, that's always good news. Trust, yep. And remain positive. Okay, underneath we have success. Wow, very good news for you today, I have to say. So for some of you, you might have been asking questions regarding your health or if you are doing the right thing if you should trust this doctor when he is saying such and such um, you know um, it can be different questions that you have been asking of course but from my perspective uh, what I feel here is that they're saying to trust so not just to trust them as they are guiding you but also maybe trust if you were asking a question regarding um, a doctor or some sort of therapy that they have been asking you to do then maybe you should say yes to that so that just popped out so I'm just going to leave that there and then I'm going to pull five cards total to see what's going on for you underneath we have the nine of wands wounded healer okay yeah the Wounded Healer card is very often where we have been hurt in some way, shape, or form, but we're kind of still standing, okay? So that's the thing about the Wounded Healer also is that sometimes they set up boundaries against people um, because they have been hurt. So if it is an emotional question, that might be the case for you, okay? But let us look at the tarot cards here. You got, and this came upside down, I put it that way, uh, Two of Wands. Okay, you might have been kept back from planning ahead, from, from looking to the future because of something happening with your health. Um, maybe you are lacking the energy, maybe you are not feeling like you have uh, enough of uh, good health to pursue something, you know, something about that. Uh, I saw just now, by the way, that, you know, this, this was sliding a little bit, so underneath it said you're ready. So I want to include that since I saw it, just so you know, it's up here. Okay, so let's look at the other ones. You have justice, which is also about finding your balance, okay? And you got the nine of swords. You worry, okay, so you're worrying about your health. Four of pentacles, holding back, as I said. You've been holding back for, from planning, and this four of pentacles is the card of holding on to something or holding back. And you have the devil here, okay? So the devil might be uh, the ego energy. It can be your ego energy or it can be somebody else's ego energy, okay? So from what I understand here, from what I feel is that it is your own ego holding you back from going forward with something and you're doubting something. You are not sure if this is going to benefit you or if this is the right way to go whether it be an emotional problem or a physical problem or a mental problem, okay? But it is about your human being, okay? It is about your body in any way, shape, or form. So in order for you to improve your health, you have to trust, okay? So trust that you are being guided by spirit to do the right things for you so that you can go through this. They're also asking you to remain positive and they're saying success and you're ready. So that means that from my you know, perspective here, it's going to work out fine. But I do believe for some of you, you might have been presented with an option from a doctor or a psychologist or somebody 
uh, that says maybe you should try this or maybe there is a healer or some friend of you has said, you know, maybe you should visit this healer because I've been there and she's so good or he's so good. You know, there's something about something that has been presented to you as an option and you're kind of, nah, I'm not so sure. Uh, no, I don't, you know, I'm, I, I'm not feeling that. Maybe you should try it, okay? And especially if it is something that your doctor is pres prescribing or, you know, wanting you to try out, then at least try it is kind of the feeling I'm getting with this. But I'm going to use another uh, tarot deck as well here. Um, so I'm going to find my Yoelin Classic Tarot here. That's this one here. And we're going to ask for some more advice from Spirit regarding this situation. And it might be for some of you that this is just regarding your energy, your your lack of energy maybe. You're feeling depleted of energy and you're off balance maybe. And that's why you're not wanting to plan ahead. You're not wanting to do because you're feeling out of whack a little bit. So it doesn't have to be more serious than that. Um, but you are kind of worrying and you're stuck a little bit here. So holding back and letting your ego tell you things that's not true. So no matter what situation you're in, they're asking you to trust and they're asking you to kind of take that step forward. Okay. So let us see what we have. What more do you want us to know, spirit? Yeah, this is the card of victory. Yeah, that's beautiful. And yeah. It's, it, it might feel like it's heavy right now, uh, you know, but also remember that in the Wands card, all of these Wands are also experiences. And with the Wounded Healer, the Wounded Healer has experienced a lot. I mean, it's the Nine of Wands and this is the Ten of Wands. So all of these are experiences. And the Wounded Healer is wounded, yes, but still standing. So that's kind of what they're encouraging you to do because there will be victory in this situation. Underneath we have the Ten of Swords, yeah. So that might be, and this is very much the de depletion of energy card or feeling like I'm giving up. I don't want to do this anymore. The feeling of, okay, I, I have absolutely nothing more to give. So I don't, I'm not surprised that that card comes up. Oh, what is underneath there, please? The nine of swords again. Yeah. So worrying a lot about this. I understand that most definitely, but I do feel like they're trying to say, they're, they're, they're asking you to take that step now, to trust. The, the trust is a big word in this, but I am going to uh, pull... Can I use that one? Okay. This card a deck here, the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. Let us ask that deck as well if they have some additional answers or um, advice for you. Through this deck, please give them advice, spirit. Please give them reassurance. Please give them love and support. Make them feel safe and secure enough to trust and take that step. I gave a little prayer for you there as well. Medicine woman, okay. You are a channel for divine healing power. But when medicine woman comes up in this situation... I'm feeling like, for some of you, if you have been reluctant to see a doctor, please do, okay? Um, because there is some sort of medicine that is in need for those of you ha who have that physical problem, okay? Um, but the medicine woman can be a doctor or it can be whomever you feel. You have to feel into who this is for you. It can, of course, be somebody... Uh, that works with healing or or something like that. But if this is something severe, please contact the doctor also, um, because I, f I feel like there there is there is a medicine for you. Okay, there is something that can help you. Is what I feel. One more card, please. Be strong. Yeah, you're stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. One last card, please. The high priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So your higher self, of course, knows this. They know the answer to all of this. So you can sink into that part of you maybe and ask that question and maybe get an answer. Okay. But, you know, this is a general reading. So I can't tell you exactly in this reading what's going to work for you. You have to feel into whatever I uh, talked about here that kind of resonated with your energy field. Okay. Okay. 
but I do feel like trust is a big word here and contact your doctor, have it, have that talk uh, or, or therapist or, or healer or whatever it is that you are going to and that you feel that is the right one to talk to for you and have that conversation, you know, and, and be honest about your your worry because you got that twice here, you know, the, the nine of swords under there and here and the ten of swords and nine of wands and everything, you're worrying and your ego is, of course, making this into maybe being a lot more serious than it needs to be. You know, I had that experience myself where I thought that, oh, my God, I probably have cancer, you know. And, and so my doctor said, well, OK, then we have to look into it. So but I was reluctant to go because it was when I was really having anxiety, anxiety and panic attacks. And so I was so afraid to go to go to the hospital and get these things looked at. But I understood that in order for my ego to to be satisfied, I have to check this out. And so I had to go and I went through a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, things. And of course, there was nothing there. Uh, and that's what I needed to do to kind of still my ego, because my ego made it into be so much more serious than it truly was, you know. And there was a medicine for me. There was something that I it was another thing, you know, it wasn't uh, cancer. And so but I had to kind of go through that in order to find that out. So if you're kind of holding back from going to the doctor, then don't. OK, go and get it checked up. Find out what it is. Uh, if it is emotional, if it's uh, mental, if it's physical, you know, you go and you find out, you know, you are in a human form. And so these people are, are specialists on the human form. So let them allow them to do their job and find out what's, you know, uh, what's going on with you physically or emotionally or mentally. And then, of course, you can have the additional thing, which is the healing, which is the uh, maybe clean foods or, or, or remedies from nature or those kind of things as an extra to help you. But don't hold back on going to the doctor to find this out. Now, they're saying be strong. They're saying trust. They're saying there's a medicine and they're saying success. OK, so I do feel that whatever it is that you're going through, things will be fine. You'll be fine. But get it checked up. Have that difficult conversation with your doctor or whomever it is that's going to help you with this. OK, it's needed. You have to trust that in doing so, you will be guided further on to what to do for you, what's best for you individually. OK. So that was the message for today. Uh, I'm giving you so much love and I made you a little prayer for you that I sent up to the universe. And I hope that you will be held in love and that you will be healed and that everything will work out for you. You have my love. Thank you so much for being here today. Wishing you a beautiful day. Till the next time I see you.